lecture i'm going to discuss about how to check if a column exists in microsoft sql server table okay so here uh, we can or uh, do this by query so let's uh, see so first here going to use if a statement then here call so now you can see there i'm going to use the call name so this is a built in function and so uh, it return a small int and this is all details so it accept or two parameter first is the table name and next is the column name so use that and give the table name so here you can see i'm using the database adam so here list of tables are available so going to use the table hr employees you can use anyone so let's give you a hr dot and here employees after that the next uh, that's for column name we need to give so i'm going to give the column cell i don't know if this available or not and uh, here going to use the is not null so this should be not null if that not null there i'm going to use the query select and uh, here so this will or uh, going to display if that uh, not null then there that message display column exit in table okay and uh, here this is the alias so alias here call now after that uh, here let's close that now after if going to use the else statement else because uh, uh, if that uh, condition is not true then that will go to the else part so simply copying and pasting after the else so here we need to uh, provide column does not exit so let's include here does not exit Okay, does not exit and this is the alias. So this is the query to check if the column exit or not. So let's uh, execute that. So now you can see here column does not exit in the tab. So that means our database Adam is there, Adam selected. And uh, here you can see this is the employees. Now let, let's see the employees columns. So here you can see there are no any cell column inside there. But if I include here cell re, S A L A R Y, then S A L A R Y. After that, execute that. So now you can see column exit in the table. That means if call length hr dot employee is not null. So this time this is not null. Okay. So if that not null, then that so or select this run or this line run and there that display here column exit in the table and as this is here call. So this is the alias. Now if uh, here that font the salary, if the font that column, then this true and if that not font. So if that not found, then this go on the else statement and run this query. So if you execute, so there message displaying column does not exit in the table. Okay, so this is how we can check column exit in Microsoft SQL Server tables. So I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.